Mortal Kombat really goes back to basics, and that's what works about the game. It's not in 3D, the roster has been trimmed down, they've really focused on the visuals and they've really focused on the gore and everything else that made the game just as fun as it was back when the first three games hit the scene. It's just as over the top and just as ridiculous as anyone could remember. This Mortal Kombat has a lot of polish that I'm not really used to seeing in games from this series. There's always some wonky looking graphics or else there's some gameplay element that doesn't really work that well. But in Mortal Kombat, it's really like everything has been shined up and polished as much as possible. There aren't any glitches, there's really no issue with the gameplay, and really the overall design is pretty much as realistic looking as it's ever been. When you're fighting with the characters, they don't just lose health, they actually start taking damage. And this is where the game's visuals work really well. They get bruises, they get scrapes and cuts. In some cases, the skin just starts peeling off of their bones, and it really looks cool. And when you go to the fatalities, it, it looks even better. None of the previous Mortal Kombat's have had real looking fatalities. It's always been kind of cartoonish, kind of something that wouldn't really look like it worked in real life. But with this one, they've reanimated a lot of the fatalities and they've just done things that make the game just look more real. One of my favorites is Sub-Zero, where he just freezes the bottom half of the person he's about to kill. He just rips off the upper half of their body. In general, it's the best looking Mortal Kombat game I've ever seen, and it's probably the first Mortal Kombat since the original trilogy that looks on par with console titles of its age. As far as the gameplay goes, it's kind of the same as the first Mortal Kombat's, but it's a bit different. For one thing, the fighting engine has been scaled back, so it's not as hard to do a lot of the moves. The fatalities are much easier to do, and overall the game is kind of at a slower pace. It's something that's going to be familiar to people that have played a lot of the Mortal Kombat games, but it's something that people who are just picking up this one won't have much of a problem getting into. One of the things that this Mortal Kombat does that the others haven't done is it's got a main story mode that essentially lays down the canon events. Since this Mortal Kombat is a reboot, this one actually kicks off right at the end of the events of Mortal Kombat Armageddon. Raiden's about to get killed by Shao Kahn and the Earth Realm's about to be taken over by the Outer Realm. And he sends a message back to a past version of himself so that this Raiden can try to alter the course of history. So really, this game is starting a new timeline within the Mortal Kombat franchise. Most of the voice acting isn't bad, but it's still pretty cheesy. I'm taking you out, I'm taking you out, and I'm taking you out for dinner. <laughs> and there's a lot of terrible one-liners, there's a lot of plot twists that don't make a whole bunch of sense. Aside from the story mode, Mortal Kombat has all the basics. It's got your multiplayer, it has the tournament ladder mode where you can see the special endings for every character you pick. And for most of the modes you fight in, you can earn coins so that you can unlock the extras in the crypt. By far, Mortal Kombat gets most of the replay value out of trying to get all of the unlockables. And you can get stuff like concept art, you can get alternate character costumes, you can unlock extra fatalities, and there's a ton of stuff in the crypt. There's literally hundreds of things to unlock, and you'll easily spend at least a week trying to earn enough coins to get everything. The best part of the game for me was the challenge tower. We've actually been trying to get through all 300 of these levels of Game Pro, and the missions have such variety, it's really impressive. Some of the levels are pretty simple mini games or just straight up one-on-one -on -one fights, but there are others that throw a huge wrench into the normal formula. Some of them you'll fight upside down. In some missions, you'll only be limited to one move. In other missions, you won't even be able to see the fighters. They have headless combat. They have modes where your blood turns into rainbow paint. One of the missions even has you fighting off like hordes of zombies, and it's really cool what the developers at NetherRealms have done to make all of these levels both interesting and really addictive enough that you'll want to keep going through the tower. This is definitely the best Mortal Kombat I've played in a while, but the game still has a few issues here and there. The controls are going to seem a bit clunky to people who aren't really used to it, and it's not really a technical fighter. It's really easy to spam special moves and just be super cheap, and the computer AI gets pretty unforgiving at lots of points in the story mode, especially with the handicap fights. 
I'm not sure what to think about the fact that the roster has been trimmed down. The last Mortal Kombat had over 60 characters, and this one has nowhere close to that. So, some fans will like that they've narrowed the focus to the fan favorites, and some people aren't really going to like the fact that the roster has essentially been cut in half. This Mortal Kombat, it's fun, it's well-rounded, it's got a ton of features, a ton of content, and it supports up to four players for multiplayer. There's even a mode where you can watch other people play, and it's essentially just like a theater. I'm giving Mortal Kombat a 4.5 out of 5. I had a really good time with it. I'm still going to be playing it for weeks and weeks to come. I honestly can't remember the last time I was this addicted to a game. If blood, guts, and severed limbs don't make you queasy, and if you're generally just a fighting game fan, this is one of the better games that you're going to be picking up this year.